Hey, what's going on? Pete Francis for Blues Rock Review with another edition of Underrated Guitarists, where we highlight guitar players that deserve a little more attention. And we're going to kick off this episode with Richie Kotzen. Now, Richie Kotzen is pretty well known within guitar circles, has a lot of respect within the guitar community, but he's not a household name, even though he really should be, because he's insanely talented. Now, in recent years, he's gained a little more notoriety thanks to his work with the Winery Dogs, but now he's kind of back to focusing on his solo career, which is really taking off. And Richie Kotzen is a phenomenal player and a very versatile guitar player. He can pretty much play any style, rock, blues, funk, soul, fusion, jazz, you name it, Richie Kotzen can play it. And one of the interesting things about his playing is he doesn't use a guitar pick, which makes his playing that much more impressive. Richie Kotzen is super, super talented, not just as a guitarist, but as a vocalist as well. He's drawn a lot of comparisons to Chris Cornell with his voice. He's a very talented songwriter. He's a great keyboard player. But yeah, as far as underrated guitarists, Richie Kotzen is right up there because he's one of the best guitar players on the planet. Richie Kotzen, underrated. If you haven't checked him out, definitely do so. Hannah Wicklund is another underrated guitarist worth checking out. And as of this video, she's only 20 years old, but she's experienced well beyond her years. She started her band, The Stepping Stones, when she was just eight years old. And you can definitely hear that experience in her playing. She's played thousands of gigs and she's only 20 years old. And she is a powerhouse guitar player. She has a knack for coming up with really cool riffs. And this year in 2018, she released her self-titled album, Hannah Wicklund and the Stepping Stones. It's the third album the band has released. And this is the album that really got this band onto our radar. And it's one of the best albums you will hear all year in blues rock. Like I said, she is a powerhouse guitar player. Definitely an up and comer you're gonna be hearing from more and more in the coming years. So if you're looking for an underrated guitarist, definitely check out Hannah Wicklund. Now, when you talk about underrated guitarists today, one name that really comes to mind is Chris Barris. Now, Chris Barris has been around the blues rock scene for a couple of years, but this year he released The Divine and Dirty on the Mascot label group, which was his debut with Mascot. And this really shows what a phenomenal guitar player he is. He has some absolutely epic solos on this album, some really catchy riffs. He's a great slide player. He is just a monster guitar player period. And this is really kind of a breakout album for Chris Barris and really starting to bring his name to the forefront a little bit more. And now what's interesting is Chris Barris is also working with Supersonic Blues Machine, joining Fabrizio Grassi and Kenny Ernoff as he's touring with them. So that should help him continue to get his name out there. And this has definitely been a big year for Chris Barris. When you talk about underrated guitar players, he's definitely near the top in the blues rock genre right now. So who are some other underrated guitarists we should know about? What do you think about the guitarists mentioned in this video? Feel free to leave your comments down in the comments section below. We'd love to hear who you think should be featured in the next installment of Underrated Guitarists. If you like this video, please click the like button below. As always, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and thanks for watching.